was my very first cell phone I ever owned. It's hilarious, right? And I don't endorse Sprint. They suck. <laughs> but this isn't even a colored screen. It was when cell phones had blue screens. It was like a blue light. But I'm not really touching it because the battery burst. And I don't even know why I still have this batter this phone. Like, it was oozing out stuff. Let's see. Yeah, it was like oozing blue stuff everywhere. I don't know why. And isn't that so fashionable? Woo! It's okay. When I was in junior high, the very first bag phone had come out. And it was the Zach Morris phone. <laughs> That's my youth. Everybody, it's Mars and we decided that this week we were gonna do a trip down memory lane um, and forgive my appearance I feel and look like crap so forgive me um, I had to put these on to kind of disguise me not doing my eyebrows and me not putting mascara and stuff on so yeah anyways um, so a trip down memory lane um, I really don't know what you guys want to hear if we talk about like a trip down memory lane, but I have changed so much. Um, I don't know, growing up you change your lifestyles a lot. Um, I remember when I was little, here I have like a few pictures. My neighbor always picks on me because they say that I'm like the only person that keeps hard copies of photos nowadays. And I have a lot more photos. Um, they're just like packaged up and I don't have the energy to start digging through stuff. Um, so this is me as a baby <laughs> and yeah, you can't even tell except for the big eyes. I had big eyes and I was very chubby. I was a chubby child. <laughs> That's like full on face chubby child. Um, and how old was I? This is me rocking the freely, this is like how we used to dress when we were little. Like, it's me on a carousel. Look at the clothes I'm wearing. Like, <laughs> I used to be such a tomboy and my mom used to like dress me up in the girliest things. It was hilarious. Um, I used to go, they have these bars that are just like, that and you could put your hips on them and flip and flip and flip and flip. I used to do that in skirts and I had like those underwear with the ruffles on the butt. It was hilarious. And then we would, it was like in third grade, um, the elementary school that I went to is just like right down the road. So if you stepped out into the middle of the street of my front yard, you could literally see the, the school. So back then, I would walk home like my mom would safety pin a key to the inside of my shirt and I would walk home um, and I was in third grade how old are you when you're that age I have no idea anyways um, we were playing in the playground and I remember somebody going ew there's a dead possum underneath the merry-go-round what did I do I reached in there pulled it out swung in by its tail and threw it at a boy <laughs> Um, then, let's see, yeah, it's crazy how everything was really trusting back then. I mean, we would go play outside and like ride our bikes around the neighborhood and stuff and we had to get home when the street lights started to come on. So, and like you think about it now and it's so different and I sound like such a geezer, but... <laughs> It's so different because now kids are like gaming and then like internet, internet was like so foreign to us back then. I think it was in, when I was in high school when we first got internet, it was AOL 2.5 and you had to pay by the hour. And we had like this Hewlett Packard computer, which I still have. Like you probably have seen it in one of my other videos, but it's ginormous. And, um, it, yeah, 
it was like you had to pay by the hour for the internet. And forgive me, I don't know if you can see, I have like a blister on my lip, which is disgusting. I've been really, really stressed out lately. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, so we would go online and like meet people and it's like you think about it now and it's like it's crazy of how trusting we used to be back in the day. It's like we would tell people like, hey, we'll pay you 20 bucks if you take us to the border and take us to Mexico so we could go party. And we would just have random strangers take us. And then we wouldn't even have a ride back. We would just try to find a ride back. We just risked, ri like risked so much. It was insane. But I'm still here. I wouldn't do it now. But back then, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And my hair is starting to frizz because there's nothing on it. And it's really faded. Anyways. So, what was I talking about? I went off on a... trying to think oh and then I went to from third grade then let's see junior high was sixth through eighth I remember in sixth grade my biggest fear of going to junior high was lockers all I could worry about was like oh my gosh like lockers what if I forget my code what if I'm gonna be late like Growing up, my biggest fear was not being punctual. The way my parents raised, well, the way my mom raised me. I'm always early. When I go to work, I show up half an hour early. Anywhere I go, I'm always 15 to 30 minutes early, which could be a good thing or sometimes annoying. Um, but, um, what was I going on? Okay, sixth grade. And my mom was like so strict. I remember when I wasn't she I wasn't allowed to talk to guys on the phone um, guys were just not allowed period in junior high I remember having to like I would put makeup on and then wipe it off um, before I got home because she slapped me once for wearing cherry chapstick um, that's how strict my mother was anyway sixth grade was my first crush and um, I don't know if I've told the story on this channel yet but my first crush was this guy. I remember it was the first day of school and I had science class. And I sat down and then somebody tapped me on my shoulder. No, no, wait, they were on the side of me. And they were like, hey, can I borrow a pencil or something like that? And it's like, the moment I turned and I looked, it's like there was like music, slow music playing and like sprinkly, like little things shining around him and he's like can I borrow a pencil and I was just like ah. it's like so in love with the guy it was like love at first sight it was hilarious um he busted me putting a love note in his locker it was hilarious like ugh. he picks on me until this day we're still friends he's married now but it's hilarious we ended up dating eventually but um that was a long time ago um, let's see, it was my first crush, um, seventh grade, seventh grade, I don't know, I was always one of the outcasts, well, in sixth grade I was kind of a mix because my mom was still dressing me, um, yeah, and I remember one time I went to my father's to go visit because they had already split up, and I came back with shaved legs, cut hair, and pierced ears, and oh! all hell broke loose it was hilarious because <laughs> she was just so against me having um, me shave my leg she said I was too young but yeah hilarious anyways so seventh grade that's when I finally started to become myself um, and I started wearing like loose jeans I had a wallet chain and I wore it was like back in the day when Nirv Kurt Cobain was still alive. We would listen to Nirvana. Like, see? A cassette tape. Wow. Nirvana, come as you are. And Green Day. And I remember um, a group of friends of mine were in a band. What were they called? Anonymous. And um, it was hilarious. I can't get over it. Um, and they would do a lot of cover songs from Green Day. And uh, seventh grade, didn't much happen? I don't know, seventh and eighth seemed to blur out. But eighth grade was amazing. I loved eighth grade. I thought it was the best. Um, well, not as good as high school, but 
eighth grade. I just did not give a shit. I wore whatever I wanted. Um, I had green hair. Um, I ended up dating a best friend of mine and things got weird. And it's good to date people that you know, but your best friend, like, oh. but we're still friends now. We're actually friends now. And I know his wife. I'm good friends with his wife. Um, but yeah, I'm one of those people that still talk to their exes. Um, this video is getting very long. Um, eighth grade. Yeah. And that's when I became rebellious, but, um, I was in the National Honor Society at the same time. It was hilarious. High school. Everybody always said like, oh, high school's going to be rough, blah, 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 blah. They had been, um, in, when I entered high school, they had just been, what they call it hazing, um, where you become like a little sister or a little brother to a senior and they do like a, a senior prank on you, initiation. That's the word I'm thinking of. And they had recently just banned it um, because the year before some kid was brand, like branded. They, ha they got a wire hanger and like got it hot and branded his ass. That's insane, but that's the main reason why they stopped initiation at my high school. So um, I remember my first year in high school, which was my ninth grade year, I was still had like green hair. And this is when my, I don't know, I really, I don't know, my, I used to be really, really grunge. Then I went like through a gothic phase. And then I went through like, um, I don't know. I even had a pair of platforms and like 70s dresses. I don't know. I, I was all over the place. Um, I hate categorizing myself in any specific like genre. So I dress all over the place. But some girl like came into my math class and she walked by my desk and she was like, Ugh, or I showed up late or something. And all she said was like, oh, freak. And then I sat behind her and I remember like going up to her and going, Oh, just you wait. I'm gonna make, make the next four years of your life a miserable hell. And I did. Oh my God. Um, Cause I was like, I was friends with everybody. I mean, I was friends with the geeks. I was friends with the gangster people. I was friends with the jocks, the cheerleaders. Like I was friends with everybody. Like the, the, potheads that would smoke outside in high school, the photography people, the drama people, like I hung out with everybody, but I was always considered a freak because of the way I dressed. Um, but school was awesome. I freaking loved high school. Like I would love to go back and I wouldn't change a thing. It was so amazing. I loved it. Um, I got into a fight, um, several times my senior year, but it was just amazing. I don't know. A lot of people say that they have a rough time and you get bullied, but I always stood up for myself. Like I wasn't going to have that shit. Sorry. Some girl like, what was my junior year? She came up to me. So I threw a closed Coke can at her face. I don't endorse violence people. I don't, I'm not into confrontation now, but that was me back then. Here's another photo of me. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? I was so little. And then when I graduated, I went through this whole partying phase. And I'm gonna link a separate video below because that would take forever to explain. But I became like this really, I mean, I went through my phases. Like here is like a hoochie phase. I think this was my 17th birthday. That shirt I'm wearing, sorry Rose, is like, it doesn't have a back. It's just two strings that go around your arm and a piece of cloth, that's it. Um, this is where I was wearing horribly bad makeup and I think I was partying in Mexico. Um, this was me in a tube top dancing in Mexico. Doo, doo, doo. This is when I went through my hoochie phase. Hoochie phase. Um, there's another one of me. I'm the one with the dress on. Can you see me? Hoochie. 
Then I went through this phase where I was a huge candy kid and I went to all these raves and I had like a little power buff girl backpack. Look how skinny I was. Party, party, party. I'm in Mexico there. Yeah. And then this is when I went to Houston to another party. Look at the pants I was wearing. They're made out of Rainbow Bright. Sorry, Carrie Beth. Um, Rainbow Bright pants. Isn't that hilarious? Rainbow Bright pants. And like, yeah, I'm gonna link it below. It's like to all the rays that I've been to in different states and stuff. That itself has been amazing to where I've had the chance of being on yacht parties, meeting like huge people that throw raves or the big DJs because I know a lot of people that are DJs are in that scene, but that's a whole separate video that I'm gonna put below. Um, and I found one last photo that I'm gonna share with you guys in this. This pretty much sums up my youth and how old I am. My sister took this photo of these two cats that we had, but if you pay attention to the stuff around it, this is my youth. I don't know if you were around my age, but fear clothing was a huge thing back then. Like, ain't nothing but a fear thing. And then Cool World came out when I was young also. We used to steal a bunch of signs. Um, Massimo had just come out recently and then CK1 was like the biggest thing. Um, Natural Born Killers, that movie, was a big thing. It had just recently come out. The Crow. Um, what else is on here? Uh, there were a pair of Doc Martens and I used to have like a pair of steel toe combat boots that I used to love wearing. But yeah, that's my trip down memory lane. Sorry it was so long, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. It, it was fun. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, sorry it took so long to upload this video. I just wasn't feeling really, really good today. Um, but yes, don't ever decide that you're going to fit yourself into one genre of dressing style because I've changed so much and even now I'll dress like one way and then completely different the next week it's just whatever I feel so don't categorize yourself but have a great day and thanks for watching bye